Well, today is the Fiber Fest in Clay Cross. We are here at Fusion Antiques, but I couldn't be more excited because she's got some good stuff. Sorry for all the traffic noise. She is right on the main road, as you all know. Let's see. Oh, this is close, but I just talked to her, so look. All the good stuff. Oh my God. So we have a few minutes till she opens, and of course, I'm here first because, you know, that's how I roll. Look at the bunnies. Oh my God. I love the baskets too. The wicker baskets, so good. And she's got all these cool barrels. I want 35 pounds. You know, that's not a bad price if you want a big barrel. We have a barrel like this in our garden, which has a tree in it. So that's really nice. Look, she's got all these old tools, honey. Look at all these old tools. So the Fiber Fest is, I'll show you the sign. So what it is, is spending at least a fiber per week in town in the local shops to keep them, you know, going, to keep the local independent shops going. So that's what the Fiber Fest is. So it's really good because you can help maintain the businesses here at Clay Cross, keep them driving. Oh, they're open. Let's go in. Ooh, exciting. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Sewing items for a filler bag for a pound. Y'all, that's cool. Look at these cute sewing items. This box is great. That's amazing. That's all leather. Oof. Oof. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at this deer. It's got some wear on the paint, but it's still cute. Oh, it's, yeah. How much is it? Hello. Oh, it's only six pounds. Okay. So that's cute. So, oh. Look at this. So let's go look at the salt and pepper shakers. Oh my Lanta. Look at these. Okay. So I'm just gonna show oh, look at the cardinals. There's a little wear on the cold paint, but I'm not mad about it. Let's see, does he sit? Yep, they sit perfectly. Okay, so I might get these. Look at those guys. And this is, I'm gonna, gonna look at this for Jessica because she liked this. Um, look at the skunk. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's left in y'all. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pick some of these out because the uh, salt and pepper shakers are three for five. And then there's also a fill a bag situation. So let me have a look at these and I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores and today I hope you enjoyed this small little video of the Fiber Fest that I took and now I have the haul. It was a short video simply because when I got there, I thought, okay, I'm gonna film, do all this, but I got a little overwhelmed. I saw the salt and pepper shakers and just kind of went, oh, what do I get for so, so I filmed a little bit and explained what Fiber Fest was. Fiber Fest is where if you spend five pound a week at each of your local businesses, you know, for things that you need or things that you want, instead of going to the big retail parks, you can help keep your small businesses open in your town. And it's such a great way. They do it twice a year. It's my favorite time of year, <laughs> Fiber Fest. And all my favorite shops are involved. So today I went to Fusion Antiques. I was going to go to... Lady Peacock, but I'm going to go next week to Lady Peacock and see what she has on offer because it's the Fiber Fest last two weeks. So it's really fun. And Gail with um, Cup and Saucer Teas, it's also the, she's the one who organizes it. It's so fun. I need to go there and film as well. But I just did the Fusion Antiques today. And let me show you what I got. Now, she did have three sets of salt and pepper shakers for five pound, which I thought was Morgan. She has some good stuff. Y'all might have to go back during a week. 
because she had so many. I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> so let me start off with what I got. Now, I've got five sets here. And the reason I only have five sets is because one set was for Jessica. She saw it. She said, can you pick this up for me? And I said, yes, girl. So you'll have to watch her channel to see what salt and pepper, salt and pepper shaker I got for her. It's very cute. Y'all gonna love it. So let me show you what I got. So let's start off with this. <laughs> it's so goofy. Oh, it's a little skunk in a trash can. <laughs> and he's got some crazing on him. And so does a little trash can. Um, can you just hold on a minute? Because Chica's here. She needs a little attention. Hold, please. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> she likes to jump up here and, you know, be part of the video. She's beautiful. I can't blame her. So anyway, so I was telling you about this little skunk and trash can situation. And it's got some crazing on it. And that's absolutely fine. There's no chips, no cracks. Have the little stoppers. And this is made, and you can just see it on the bottom of this. It's made in Japan. See that? Uh, is that coming in? So that's made in Japan. This little set here. And I just thought it was cute. This little skunk and this little trash can. And I do all right with some pepper shakers in the Etsy shop. So I wasn't mad about it. So I got that. <laughs> yeah, I've got paper on the floor. So um, now's a good time to play in it. Okay. So the next thing I got, speaking of cats, the next thing I got was this little set here. Ooh, be steady. So it's a salt and pepper shakers on either side, little kittens. And Mama Kitty is a, like a mustard pot. It doesn't have its spoon, but I think I might have a tiny spoon for it. I'm, I might have a really tiny spoon. If not, I'm sure it's fine without a spoon. Someone can find a spoon, but so I'll take her head off. Let me just put them down. Now, I didn't know where they were made from because there was nothing on the bottom. And I'll show you the bottom. Oh, yeah, there is. It's right there. It's big as day. Germany. <laughs> this doesn't say foreign. So it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's made in Germany. It's got like a mold number on it. Um, Germany's at the bottom. There you go. So it's made in Germany. It's lusterware. And the kitty cats are in good condition. And they have the same number of holes. So you're getting the same amount of salt and pepper. So there's the little kittens. The little baby kittens. And we, you know, we love kittens around here. And they've got the little bows on. And they're so cute. And they're all in good condition. No chips, no cracks. The little kittens sit right down. I'll show you. So here's the front of the mama cat. And they just sit in these little holes there. And they both have their cork stoppers. They don't like it's been chewed on, but it's still there. So I got that. And staying on cat theme, this was so unusual. I didn't even know it was salt and pepper shake. I thought it was like a little um, figurine. <laughs> Look at that. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. There are the holes on her head. Here is the holes on <laughs> So this is your pepper and this is your salt. Because here, the, the, the less holes is salt and the more holes is pepper, as far as I'm aware. And, and the color, wow. <laughs> and it's got these little, like, felt bits on it. And there's a little bit of wear to the color. I mean, just very few. She's got a little chain. She's got her little soft eyelashes there. This is all, like, felt pieces. So she's got... So And the flower on this one's a little bit... She's seen better days, this flower. And if you see, there's a little wear on the color where you set the cat on. But there's no chips or cracks. And it is a quality product, Japan. And they both have their stoppers. And I just thought, she's got she's got her gold chain on. She's got jewelry, her eyelashes, her little, she's got a brooch. Look, she's ready for action. For none of the other color to come off, I mean, it's so loud. It's, it's so kitsch. Look at that. So that was one of the other sets I got. So the next set I got, I saw these in the picture, which she posted uh, when Sarah from Fusion Antiques posted on Instagram. I'll put a link to her Instagram in the description of this video. And I saw these. I was like, Lord, please let them still be there. I went when they opened. I mean, we were talking outside her shop before she even opened. So. 
Look at these. Uh, Chica. Girl, are you about to, about to have words? Um, hold please. I know. Stop. What are you doing? Hold please. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. She wanted to go outside and that was her way of telling me. So, <laughs> that's the life of cats. So, the next thing I, the next little salt and pepper shakers I got were these. These little, like, pixies hiding on a tree. Like, they're both hiding. That one's hiding. This one's hiding. And look. So, they're in really good condition. They've got the uh, cork stoppers. That's his little face hiding behind the tree. All the paint is good on him. Such a good, I mean, look at that. And then here's the other one. And he's looking this way. <laughs> I just love these. I thought these are too cute. Oh my God, look. Oh. So they're hiding behind a little trunk of a tree, trying to find each other. Mm -hmm. And there's no maker's mark on them. There's like a P something on there. I don't know, maybe that's someone's initials. But that's the only thing I found on there. I will probably have to look these up. These are really cute. There's no, there's a little bit of dirt on him. Oh, it's like the old sticker. Okay, I can get that off. So, but, and there's crazing, obviously, because they're old. But, so this again would be your salt. This would be your pepper with the more holes. And they just sit like that. I mean, I don't think I'd have them as salt and pepper shakers. I would have them out just as decor because they're so cute. So then I got this guy here the another skunk it was just a skunk day i have to be very careful because he sits on top of this log so he sits here just living his best life on his log in good condition no chips or cracks and it's lefton lefton it says lefton trademark exclusives japan so that's pretty cool. Um, I've not found anything left in here before. <laughs> Never have found left in the UK. There's a bottom that both have, the, both, both the stoppers are in uh, good condition. No chips, no crap. He looks kind of like Thumper from Walt Disney, from um, Bambi. But I don't think he is. He might be. I have to look him up, but look at that. Isn't that cute? He's just adorable. So I said he's got crazing on him a little, just a, just a smidge of, well, he just got some crazing on him. Just, I mean, it's normal crazing. It's nothing crazy. And yeah, so they're both left in. I was very pleased with my salt and pepper shaker. She had these other ones. And y'all, there were so many. I was like, what? what? I, it, was, it was overwhelming. <laughs> But uh, you know what? I can always go back and see if they're still there. If they're not, you know what? I'll live. Because <laughs> I got enough for now. And I just thought these were so fun. I just like the different ones, the really fun ones. So I got those. So then, so for six, I paid 10 pound for six salt and pepper shakers. And one of those is for Jessica. So there you go. So the next thing I got was these. Now these were five for the pair. And I'm going to show them to you. And they're very like heavy-ish glass. A little trifle dishes or parfait glasses or ice cream, Daniel. You can put your ice cream in that. And they're beautiful green. No chips, no cracks. And they're made in... I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it. They're... Nope. <laughs> well, they're made in Italy. Both of them. And I've never seen these before. She goes, girl, I've had these in my shop for ages. I'm like... Oh, I've never seen them. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't notice these, but the color is so pretty and so vibrant. And yeah, I don't know how old they are, but they are made in Italy. I'll see if I can, here we go. I'll try to show you again. It's kind of hard to see with the glass reflecting and the light. And um, they are made in Italy. And such, I mean, such good, heavy, like, pieces. This good solid like i said no chips no cracks they're pressed glass because there's a seam in them but oh how fun are those these would be cute with just candles in them do you know what i mean like have like a little tea light just sitting in there mm, that'd be pretty so i got this this pair was five pound again fiber fest 
So then what else I got? So then she had fill a bag for a fiver. Did you get this little paper bag that I actually almost broke because I had some heavy little bits of heavy glass in there. And I'll show you what I got. So all this I'm about to show you was a fiver. So the first things I got were these. These are like, these are little candle holders. They're glass. There's no, they're, they're quite heavy. They're not light. So these are little like candle holders, clear crystal or heavy glass candle holders. Again, I just thought they were fun. They're pretty. You can put any color candle in them. You can put your loose side candles. Oh, hang on. Do I have my loose side candles available? Let me just, hold please. And I'll show you. Hold please. So here is a loose side candle and this candle holder. And they're just so pretty. It doesn't sit all the way, but well, this, I think this is a little bit thinner than a, than a uh, inch wide candle. But if you could just get it in there to sit, how pretty would that be? You could just put like a little bit of blue tack down there, or a little white tack, set it in there. But yeah, so that's what they would look like with candles in them. Well, they wouldn't be moving around. <laughs> so they're like little candle holders. So I got those cute little pair of heavy glass candle holders. I was really happy with those. And then I got this little, it's just one little small, is it choking, chalking little plate with these ducks on it. I just thought great for mystery box. So I got that. Then I got this cute, again, cute little mystery box item. A little like perfume bottles, got the little glass lid on it, a stopper lid. <laughs> so that was fun. I got that. And then I got, this was fun. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet because this like this little train and it's like a little, It's like a little decorative tray. It's not like part of a set. I don't, I, th I think maybe they don't connect because obviously it's just, it's not a running set, I guess is what I mean. And it says the Flying Scotsman. So, you know, I picked that up. UK, uh, it says copyright 2003 Del Prado, Japan. And I just thought that was cute. It's almost vintage. Um, again, not sure. I thought maybe I'll put that on my, on my eBay it's not quite Etsy standard vintage. So I just thought that was fun. It's in good condition. It's the metal, is it train metal? Or is it plastic? No, it's plastic, yeah. But what a nice little replica of the Flying Scotsman. Oh, my fingers are in the way. So I got that for in the bag. So this is all the stuff I could fit in the bag. <laughs> and then I got this cute um, brush and mirror dresser set and it says it's got this like kind of art nouveau grecian situation on it i do have to clean it up it's got a little bit of dirt on it and the mirror's a little dusty but look at that and these are made in england and that says made in england nylon on it because that's what the bristles are and then the mayor just says made in England. So I thought that was fun in my little mystery box. I mean, in my little fiber bag. So I got those. It'd be cute on a, like on a vanity table, like a little, like a girl's vanity. It usually comes with a comb as well, but there was no comb. But I got these anyway, because I just couldn't leave them behind. And then I got this. I thought this was a sewing kit when I first picked it up. It's that cute, like, kind of faux leather gold. And usually, I've picked up sewing kits that look like this. It's not a sewing kit. I was like, what? It's a mirror. It's, a, it's like a little, it's got a regular mirror and a magnified mirror. Isn't that cool? I, and look at that orange, like, plasticky. <laughs> that old vintage plastic. Isn't that cool? <laughs> So I got that in the bag. And then the last thing I got in the bag was this. This kind of filled up the whole bag and I put it in there. It is Carl Upman. I think there were cigars. But this here is like velvet. This feels like velvety. This is like material. And that's the inside. Not sure what I'm going to do with this box yet. I mean, it'd be cute if you could, if you set it open and maybe put like a little like 
displays in it. Like you could put like little things in it like this and display it. Um, or you could just have it as a cigar box just sitting around. Or you could make some craft out of with it. I don't know, but I just thought it was fun. And I couldn't pass this up. So, that's my haul, y'all, from the Fiverr Fest. I think I did pretty good. I really do. I, I liked what I got. I was very pleased with the prices, obviously. Um, yeah. So, three sets of shakers for five pound. Not mad at it. Two beautiful pieces of green glass, Italian green glass. Uh, again, it's not fused, it's not hand blown, it is pressed glass because you can see the seam. Made in Italy. I liked those. And a bunch of little goodies in a bag. You can't you can't really go wrong. So that was the Fiber Fest, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, who are we gonna do for Dolo Digs today? Let me think. All right, today for Dolo Digs, I have a channel for you that I think you'll enjoy. She does a lot of live sales. She has a lot of live sales with other vintage resellers in the vintage community. I enjoy watching her. I think she's a hoot, y'all. I think she is so funny and she just cracks me up. And she's such a good spirited person. You know what I mean? She just, you, 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 she radiates happiness and you'll enjoy watching her. That is Steph with Steph Sells Stuff by the Seashore. I am not saying that very fast three times because I would mess that up. But do go check out our channel. She has lots of fun live sales. She does a lot of live sales, like I said, with other vintage uh, resellers. And she collabs with them and does loads of sales. Go check her out. I will have her channel come across here. Her videos come across here. And I will have a link to her channel in the description of this video. So go subscribe to Steph. It don't cost you a thing. And you'll thank me later. All right, guys. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.